Hi, welcome to my podcast, Talking Travel with Wendy. I travel the globe interviewing really cool people in small hospitality and tourism businesses. Join me each week as I discover and share something or someone new with you. You can find more at www.travelwithwendy.net. And remember, it's always an adventure when you travel with Wendy. Thanks for joining me back here and for joining me also for my epic 2021 road trip adventure across America. Today takes us through my Midwest adventures. After leaving Kentucky and the land between the lakes, I made my way across the north to St. Louis, Missouri. I visited family in Jefferson City. For the locals and Missourians, they call it Jeff City. This is the capital city of Missouri. I then hopped up to Clorinda, Iowa, birthplace of Glenn Miller, and home to some great military friends. I continued on through Nebraska, where I felt like at any time I would see Kevin Bacon from Footloose circa 1984. No such luck. (laughs) So here we go. My initial thought was to stop off in St. Louis to grab some lunch and visit the city museum. After stellar recommendations from family and followers, I felt like I just had to visit. This unique, interactive, one-of-a-kind museum where you can do some pretty dangerous things sounded like I I really wanted to visit more like Germany than the U.S. I definitely had it on my radar, but unfortunately it was raining so hard when I was driving in the city, I decided to save it for some other time. I would recommend a visit there. Be sure to check out the links below if you have kiddos. As I continued on through the Midwest to Jefferson City, I found a few special road stops to break up the road travel. Check out Ozark Land. This place was just one of a kind. It had clean bathrooms and it was a nice stop with a gift shop and it was filled with so much unique American memorabilia. If you want to see some pictures, definitely check out the blog. This was also known as a road trip tradition and so I just had to stop. Plus, I have no clue what a wind bell is, and they kept advertising we sell wind bells. I just had to figure out what that was. Unfortunately, I was a little overwhelmed by everything they had inside, so I never did find out what a wind bell was. I think it meant wind chimes, um, but I don't know. <laughs> so if you were very good at the uh, what is the capital of this state game in school, then you probably knew that Jeff City or Jefferson City was the capital of Missouri. I did know that, but <laughs> my husband's from Missouri and most of his family live in and around the state. And I knew I would be breaking my journey here and staying. After being stationed in Germany for five years and then the year of COVID, it had been a while since I've seen my family. You see, we've been married over 25 years, so they're mine too. My cousin Tina organized a great get-together of our fully vaccinated crew with a wonderful pizza and pie party. Thanks, Peggy Jean. Those were awesome pies. We also got to hear Cousin Will play in church and tour the beautiful town of Jefferson City. Did you know that Jefferson City was settled by Daniel Morgan Boone? He was the son of the famous frontiersman. It was also a Union City during the Civil War, but there was contentious division. With the success of the World's Fair in St. Louis, Jeff City was able to expand and grow. You can check out more in the links in the description too. My next stop was to hop up to Clorinda, Iowa. This unassuming, small, Midwest town on the Iowa-Kansas border was filled with so many surprises and architectural gems. Plus, my friends Nancy and Jim lived there. We were stationed at Fort Leavenworth years ago, had our littles together, who are now young adults and have lives of their own. (sighs) Time. Nancy has been a voice of wise counsel, a yoga encourager, unbelievable tea teacher, truth teller, and faith friend. I miss those 10 months we were stationed in Leavenworth, living in those small crowded townhouses, which were full of fun, children's laughters, and barbecuing. We learned so much from each other, and still, today, we never run out of things to talk about. At least I don't. Poor Nance. I'm still full of questions. Clorinda is also filled with incredible turn-of-the-century houses. Step back in time as you walk the promenade through town. You can visualize the horse and buggies coming and leaving this historic town. 
It also happens to be the hometown of Glenn Miller. If you're under the age of 35, you might not know who that is, but let me share. My grandparents loved him and his sound. He was one of the most popular big band music conductors during World War II and brought hope and optimism to the troops while they were overseas. They have been touring today still, the Glenn Miller Orchestra, since 1956, and you can check out more about their tour information in the links below as well. After my great visit with Nance and Jim, I made my way through Nebraska. My first stop was Lincoln, another Midwest capital city. Many, many people recommended that famous Capitol building, and it really was spectacular. I love walking around and actually seeing a President Lincoln interpreter as I was walking the streets, which was super cool. I just happened to arrive at the right time because when I came to the Capitol building, there was a free history tour going on. What a blessing. The current Capitol building of Nebraska is an artist's dream. It's filled with mosaics, tile work, marbled columns, and a dedication to the history of this state, its people, and its transformation. It took 10 years to build from 1922 to 1932, and while I was there, some restoration was happening too. One of my travel tips is take the elevator to the top. You totally won't be disappointed with the aerial views of Lincoln, the city. My next stop was a discovery because I was chatting with one of the other tourists during the tour and she said I absolutely needed to visit Sunken Gardens in Lincoln. This once neighborhood dump area is now a gorgeous garden on one and a half acres right in the heart of Lincoln. I was fortunate enough to have a glorious sunny day while walking around and exploring. After a rest in the garden, I made my way to Rutabaga's Comfort Food. I'm going to talk more about that in an upcoming uh, vlog and blog of my vegan vegetarian adventure as well. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to continue on. My next podcast is going to be on Colorado. I was there so long. I definitely have lots of travel tips you'll want to stick around for. Thanks so much for joining me here today and listening to the podcast. My podcast helps support small businesses and share authentic experiences around the globe. Remember to like, follow, and share. I'm also on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. If you're interested in traveling the world, check out my website, travelwithwendy.net. Thanks for listening, and remember, it's always an adventure when you travel with Wendy.